In the silence of our churches, in the bustling streets, in every corner of creation, the Holy Spirit resides. He is present in the whispers of conscience, in the warmth of community, and in the humble acts of love that often go unnoticed. The Holy Spirit is here, in these very places where we live, worship, work, and serve. Yet, too often, we turn away from Him, allowing distraction, indifference, or self-centeredness to edge Him out. The Holy Spirit does not come to overpower or demand, but to dwell gently in our hearts and communities. His presence is soft but powerful, urging us toward lives filled with love, patience, kindness, and truth. However, many of us unknowingly or knowingly resist His grace. In our places of worship, we may focus more on ritual than relationship, allowing routine to dull our awareness of His presence. In our communities, where the Spirit calls us to unity and compassion, we sometimes choose division, mistrust, or self-interest. We push Him aside when we refuse forgiveness, when we fail to love our neighbors, or when we turn a blind eye to those in need. It is a tragedy, for the Holy Spirit is our guide, our comfort, and our strength. He is the divine breath that animates our faith enabling us to live out the teachings of Christ. Without His presence, our faith risks becoming dry, mechanical, and void of true love. Yet, the Holy Spirit is not driven away easily. Even when we falter, He remains, waiting, inviting us to invite Him back into our hearts. Our churches, our homes, and our daily lives are meant to be places where the Holy Spirit freely moves. He longs to fill every space with peace, every silence with prayer, every encounter with kindness. Imagine a life, a community, a church, where He is fully welcomed, where we choose to make space for His presence and promptings. Such a life is radiant, transformed, grounded in truth, and alive with the warmth of God's love. To keep the Holy Spirit with us, we must be vigilant, humble, and open. It requires us to listen, to let go of pride, and to embrace the sacrificial love that Christ modeled. It calls us to prayer, to moments of quiet, where we can hear His gentle voice guiding us. Let us not drive the Spirit away. Instead, may we welcome Him in every place we dwell. By choosing to open our hearts and lives to Him, we allow His light to penetrate the darkest corners and fill us with the courage to live as true disciples of Christ. Let us make a home for the Holy Spirit in our hearts, our churches, our communities, in all the places where His love longs to dwell. Thanks for watching. Share this video with your friends and family.